my interest obviously I can see what and think back to work of people going well do this 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 and see if this will prove that I'm losing memory or shit like that uh, anyone who was an authority to me in Canberra respected me because I abided by the code of of protecting basic human rights and serving basic human rights so you know that means I have to travel and I'm beginning to not give a fuck it's not that I it's not that my memory is is uh, gone in total it's that the authorities from Tuggeron Uniting Church I do not want to know by choice I do not want the uh, relationship with them nor capital cameras. So, and it is only by my generosity that the Mental Health Act isn't getting fucking sued directly. So I'm baning you from my memory. I'm not a deteriorating. I choose my company and it's even you that has fucking sent me in this direction. So fuck off. Cassandra Smith and Al Alani Sutherland Hernshaw fucking whatever. I'll bomb you both. Back off. Gary Cairns, Roger Tall, back fuck off. You've all sent me on a little trip. So you're not invited to accompany me, unfortunately. Just as I was not invited during your initial submission of contest. You did this, if I remember. You look like shit today. Between now and my essential travels... See, if you know a fuckwit, do you want to remember a fuckwit? A fuckwit who goes, I've crossed, I pedophilically crossed you as a teen and, and pledged my hand in marriage. Cut, cut Alan E. Sutherland's hand off or have her fanging off to fucking Victoria and, and jail her there now. Fucking morons. Abduction. What are the laws for un unraised children from broken homes concerning abduction and for forced sexual instruction from a person who leads to the Lord and goes, oh, wait for you. <laughs> thinks I'm all about faces. I want to fucking end her job. I want to jail and end her job if she doesn't fucking leave now. She can, yeah, yeah, yet yeah, she can't talk to me, to my face, any day. Though invited. Funny. He's losing his memory. Some of you, I fucking wish I could lose my memory. Some of you fucks. Canberra by Tata. So just keep that in mind. It's been 11 years and I've yet to sue the Mental Health Act itself directly. And I can. And perhaps I should give this generosity up and just do it because I have to go for a while. So back off. Cairns tall. Back the fuck off. Peter Holder. Back, back the fuck off. Abeyance Jordan, back the fuck off. Or end your jobs. Uh, how many times did Roger Tall and Gary Cairns violate sex and religious discrimination, ab ab abduction laws, and uh, workplace enslavement? About as many as there have been U-turns to repair and replace the fucking screen door here in my apartment. So right now, Gary, Gary will tell you with his wisdom how me moving this bit of screen door here is like, I can't tell that there's a difference between one or three of them. So, whoa, is this one, is it, whoa. Sex discrimination, abduction, and workplace enslavement. There's your three and one. 
cocksucker. Uh, how many times did Roger Tall and Gary Cans violate sex and religious discrimination, ab ab abduction laws, and uh, wor workplace enslavement? About as many as there have been U turns to repair and replace the fucking screen door here, my apartment. So right now, Gary, Gary will tell you with his wisdom how me moving this bit of screen door here is like, I can't tell that there's a difference between one or three of them. So, whoa, is this one, is it, whoa. Sex discrimination, abduction and workplace enslavement, there's your three and one. Cocksucker. Yeah, listen to Gary Cans and Roger Toll's reports. We, we aren't pedophilic and sick here at Owning Capital Chemists. We think this film is clearly about saying that each time, each time someone talks, they, they are lying. We think it means not that, uh, not that certain people get targeted, talk, talk shit about so much behind their back. That when they do speak and speak forthright and honestly, they can scarcely feel their own sincerity. You made us fuckwits. You contend with us too. Uh, according to the latest top notch reports on the Christian media, where their saviors get themselves kidnapped. Uh, the only other person I know to have done that was MacGyver. I think he could get himself kidnapped and then use a paper clip and do the fucking escape. And you'd like that more than this crucifixion, but well, it depends on your appetites as Christians. So COVID-19 was really the investigation, the investigation by the Christians to see if I used my frontal lobe to cause 9-11. 19 hijackers of the planes. And I was snorting speed and coke. Uh, smoking snow cone, snow cone bongs. And then mind beaming to the fucking plane hijackers. Not the 19 of them. Um, they just want to know what I saw. Uh, anyway, mysteries, mysteries. Christians are really on the ball though, believing that you make women out of ribs. Fucking smart. Let's start with that, that premise. And then you come up pestering fucking people that have the right to sue your cunt company to the fucking ground. And of course, you already literally know that it's safer underneath. Hmm. So they wanted to know if I was using my marijuana use, was giving me telekinetic telepathetic kinetic abilities to contact the mind of Hani Hanu and say like Oi you 19 pilots come to Australia because uh, pedo Mark B. Nelson told Roger that wants to, you to design tech for him so the press need a story that you and your scientist friends all died in planes and shit there's always leaks and wacky names. COVID-19. 19 hijackers. Whoa. In the battle between the three Abrahamic faiths, it's going to be the conquered of ideas of Islam. I mean, the Christians are already worshipping an, an abduction. So, and, uh, you know, Roger and Gary are like, we want to make ped technology. 
And so they needed 19 people who were going like either Pro Prophet Muhammad, bless his name, uh, nine-year-old wife. Yeah, sure, we'll build te technology for you. All right, well, cool. We'll say you all died in plane crashes in America. Really just bring them over here. Quantify things. It's funny how quantum... To, uh, using the name of like a... As a filer. When quantify means to figure out something. And quant is the name of the stuff that's been figured out. It's a like bruise name. Bruzy, bruzy. So, yeah, the press realized, well, everyone's going to be spooked just by the name COVID-19. Because it was always left to be a mystery to everyone that remembers 9-11. Well, what really happened? Hani Hanu could not ever fly a plane. He did not know, have a... He did not pass his flight course. I took him in my car to Capital Chemist. And the owners were like, whoa. This be the bomb shizzle. So you see, it's that it is true, like a, the movie Enemy, I think it's brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Our generation likes Donnie Darko. Enemy and prisoners. Big ups. But yeah, mainstream media, bread and circuses for all of you. Bread and fucking circuses. What happened to those 19 pilots? Lie about the pilot light that flickered out. Ooh. <laughs> so Roger Mark B and Gary Kans went, yep, this will be a fucking great idea. The Australian Prime Minister will be spooked. The public will be fucking spooked. I'll freak out and now buy more meds in it. Uh, do I know Honey Hanu personally? Fucking nigga owes me 12 bucks. He's over here now. Come say hello. <laughs> Revenge is in place to those that robbed me in 2010. Uh, Agent Murphy is my mailman. Not too much of a fan of the new Robocop. But my, uh, my opinion now is that the genuine Robocop, Mr. Weller, did not want to do part three because they introduced the backpack flying thing. I think he said, fuck that. I, I would have. That uh, rediscovery of that brief glimpse of humanity while being a cyborg is uh, the, the beauty of Robocop. Now, whichever one of you fucks took my Robocop, well, fuck all you fucks.
It's already in play. This is here's a liability post. The AF penis have scrubbed my, scrubbed my frontal lobe into the asphalt, so my fa face was pissing blood, and then took me to Calvary. Uh, and didn't they treat me like Jesus? <laughs> Just what? Wipe, wipe the face down with a bit of betadine and go write a letter saying, "Yeah, he's fine. Lock him up." He's all clean to be locked up. Uh, and your saviour agreed to his own kidnap and abduction. Your lord and saviour. And he thought of that cunt doctor's vagina, uh, vaginal hygiene when he was going up the hill. He's like, I'm doing this for her. He did it all by his own free wheelie, parts one and two. I was not born at Calvary Hospital. Ah, uh, yeah. It was also 19 past midnight. You have to think about this. The United Kingdom is now combined with Islam. But, um, did the Queen, like, uh, Di Miss Diana, flags tell. People screaming and flags will tell. McHoist. Hoist the McFlag. See, do you think that her, her partner approved of, by Islamic code, of her companionship with her bodyguard? Did that make her like a whore in the eyes of Islam? That's what will happen when you combine try and combine these when triads combine these three so I reckon they're like let's test quantum tunneling what's the best concealer knock her out in a tunnel knock out the drive of the dead was a fiction story by blah 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 I miss Diana Over and out, Charlie. So then, the very week following the scrub my face into the, I was handcuffed behind the back. Read this. This is, uh, I'm currently a hostage. Um, technically, I'm a hostage that is supposed to have travel provisions provided me to travel to the US to meet the legal principle. So I can phone Triple O as much as I want. Even if fucking hackers impersonating me can phone Triple O. I can give a flying fuck. I want my plane, biatch. After they, after they scrub my face in the asphalt with cuff behind my back, take me to Calvary Hospital. And that nurse gets her moist clitor clitori, as she does from abducting and killing any bisexual. Calvary's built on the idea that Jesus died willingly. Problem. Real problem for you if you study the Gospels in order. So, I would not trust you to fucking scrub my toenail with a thingy uh, and then the guy the next week goes oh you're the joker I was thinking of my parents uh, dressing as the joker has been something I've been doing since I was about five or six years old uh, I view it as a way to honor both my parents at once I had a joker suit, you can, you can ask my mum, I had a joker suit at age 5, 6, 
But anyway, this uh, this copper goes, oh, you're not a super villain. I'm like, what? This was the basis for his uh, non non warrant uh, arrest while I was sitting on a chair drinking a mother. Uh, and he and he puts his knee up and he's got his asshole pointed at the children's playground of the Dixon Church. I thought typical. So I then I then wanted to watch if they would drag my butt on the ground and touch my butt, which which of course he did. He goes, why don't you obey my commands? I'm like, I'm not, you have to understand, I'm, I'm not fucking Christian. Like, your interest in me is because Christ has not returned. And it applies to all, our whole community. So fuck off. So, um, I'm suing the AFP. I'm suing the AFP and I'm letting you know that they're owned by... Uh, land right owners that hold to this triad idea and they're like well give the police and the jailing system the bible and like they'll believe anything just say say that each target had like a childhood incestuous moment you know because four year olds really get their dicks up don't they don't they in the garden of Eden Yeah, and so <clears throat> they're looking to fulfill. It's sick, really, because they'd do better to work off Cluedo books, kids' Cluedo books, than um, uh, and Goosebumps, um, than the Bible. This is kind of why I like the Queen. The aspect of me that likes the Queen is that she asked that question. She put it to us as a question, like. She dumped us here, and then she asked, to what greater source of inspiration can we turn than to the imperishable truths that can be found in that treasure house called the Holy Bible? Now, Freddie Mercury has responded. A lot of people have responded. Bowie's responded. Uh, Inbreds killing bisexuals and pursuing bisexuals is probably a crime. Probably should be a crime, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, 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 pretty much. So this this religion is what's stopping the recognition of bisexuals as natural. I think we were more natural than hetero marit, marital. In the meantime, as this lawsuit progresses, the Australian Federal Police are under instructions to bow to Marilyn Manson. You learn in due time. Ta-ta. You're dead longer than you're alive. You're dead longer than you're alive. You understand that? See this? This is a fake bail. Based on false charges. A hostage may contact triple zero at any time and if you've been robbed and listen to them with their social distancing but they can't wait to touch me uh, the one the pig that touched my balls this is, this is incredible like they could have um, they could co-join with airports and get airport security tech so that they don't have to touch you but they'll strip you down if you're in the community especially it'll just feel with their heartbeat they want you butt naked but for a pair of satin black boxes with no pockets and they want to feel up inside and cup your balls cup your fucking balls it's like oh lo monkey say loincloth no shame, no shame, loincloth, monkey say. And it's right on, it's right to their taste from communion wafers. Like, that's why they've made those feral uh, risperidone wafers. Those, you think those cunts don't take communion? <laughs> Any of them that take communion, that will, it doesn't matter, wouldn't matter if there was a viral alert 
that, that social distancing on 1.5 meters was mandated. Uh, they will touch you. And like, if they can even tell that you couldn't possibly have anything on your person. And there are all of their officers and all of their, their watch houses or whatever could just have this tech and make you stand in this technology and get scanned or scan your person so they don't have to touch you. But they don't want to. They don't want to because they're taught that the Bible, you know, we, we pass you on from here to the courtrooms. The courtrooms even like the Bible. So the pigs are going, well, we want to get our honours. We want to get our honours. And the best that they can work out is to round up bisexuals and touch the fucking dick and ass and balls. I want that. I want that uh, pig beaten and raped. I will see the AFP in court whenever they like. Thank you very much. Uh, ooh. Is, it, is every bisexual a, a hermaphrodite? Uh, did Eve come from a rib in your view, personally? You're so professional. With your rationalizations and shit, you're so, so professional. Now how's about this? In ancient kingdoms, kings were forcing marriages. And they believed in bloodline purity by making sure that families fuck within the family. So, you know, this reprobate behavior kicked out in their instincts, in the back of their minds. There would be more truth to the hypothesis that a man was sick of getting blowjobs in a castle from uh, a forced marriage by the king of so-and-so to so-and-so's fucking cousin niece, sister, and he couldn't bear the sight of his own blowjobs, so he's pointing his ribcage forward like this. He can't stand the fucking sight of you, he was thinking. So then he, then he goes, oh, we also have one less rib. So he tells the scribe to kill two birds with one stone. Just say that a rib was taken out and the first woman was created out of it. Huh? There'd been more truth to that to that hypothesis. It explains why they'd be pred on Jesus and then yet write about him obsessively. I mean, the apocrypha are, are hidden gospels: the gospel according to Mary Magdalene, the gospel according to Judas, Thomas, Peter. They're only letting you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. With Matthew placed before Mark, of course. I mean, how the fuck do you explain the fact of concealing and yet obsessive, obsessing over the abduction, kidnap, and killing of this man, of this gentleman? I like him, but I can see what it's doing to our society. Uh, that people don't, people don't want to look behind the, the surface of the text even with the four texts they're given. So what, they'll wonder, they'll wonder if I'm a hermaphrodite before they'll fucking wonder if the Garden of Eden is bullshit and evolution's a fact. Which, by the way, AFP, it is a fucking motherfucking 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 fact. No, I won't be dialing triple O, but I won't be getting charged for it either. Hostage. Hostage alert. Come over here and chat to Hani Hanu. About uh, Islam, Islam ideas slowly taking over. In the triplicate theology. I was saying to the, Her Majesty, be careful. Be careful because you're worshipping 
essentially un under the conquenum. So, I bequest that you take care of yourself as individuals. about a magic trick. another night of insomnia and I'm wondering if um, idiot Alany who I should not have gone to visit in Melbourne uh, she will not ver verbalize direct lines of question she'll just do this dramatic shit and it's disgusting if she drives past me in a car I can feel how sick I would feel as a teen. Disgusting. I get what the, the drama is from Christian's view. Um, they'll have to do something with the word supernatural. Because beyond natural can also mean explanation pending, which just means maybe a mystery. A dr dramatic style when it's a fucking an adult conversation, supposedly, about a serious matter is the end of our fucking friendship forever. I think she's disgraceful. She might as well, you know. She has just obstructed justice. Hey, we'd like to rent Doc's booth. Whoa, that's so weird. Some orange dude just came in here and rented our last two copies. Yeah, her friendship is w worse than and and having have, having a worse enemy because she just she imposes herself. Probably believes in creationism and thinks she's fucking Agatha Christie. She would even if she time traveled back to um, Jesus' birth in the manger, she'd sense that he, he the bi bilateral brain, um, bilateral heart beating. Quickly run and grab the ba the f the fetus and throw it off a, off a cliff, saying, um, "If the devil told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it?" As the, as the as the illiterate fetus, if Jesus just plunged to the ground, and she'd go, you know, being an adopted girl, uh, it's perfectly natural, Alan, if you're adopted and. You're at some point in your life attracted to either your adopted mother, adopted father, or both. Um, 
but you would not believe that the species begun with one man removing a rib to create the first vagina and tits and uh, kitchen kitchen gloves um, and spray and wipe. Um, unless you were to be obstructing of the prospect that you probably were excited and attracted to one or both of them while growing up. It's fine. Adopted, adopt, you're adopted, then you're not blood related. So it's like having to live with prospective mates. So here, here we have a problem. Uh, there's either denial or escapism at play. If you're de in denial of going of various phases of, of of thought, if it's escapism, don't play detective. And that's one reason why I'm telling you don't play detective. You should be fucking locked up by now for what you said when I came to Melbourne. Fucking rank cunt. I wish you a dozen abortions. 